Ladies and gentlemen, we are not live from the Kill House. We are live from Scotland. It is very late at night right now. Solly here. DJ Pie is here. Hello, Deej. Hello. Greetings. Hello. Big Randy is here. Hello, Big Randy. Hello, Mr. Chris. Thanks for having me on the show today. How many hours past your bedtime are we? Mm, quite a few. Quite a few. We, uh, as you can see over my left shoulder here, we are uh, enjoying some nice Elijah Craig as we get going here. Every golfer has their own unique style of play. It's part of what we love about watching the pros at the Masters. It also happens to be what we love about bourbon. Take Elijah Craig, for example. Every bottle of their award-winning small batch carries a signature warm spice and subtle smoke flavor. I like to drink it on the rocks or in an old-fashioned. It's my go-to 19th hole. Elijah Craig won double gold at the San Francisco World Spirits competition last year. It goes to show that hard work and dedication lead to great things like the great moments we witness every year at Augusta. So whether you're hosting a watch party for the Masters this weekend or playing a few holes with friends, enjoy every moment with golf's signature sip, Elijah Craig Bourbon. Bourbon. Pick up a bottle today or order online at drizzly.com and save $5 on a bottle of Elijah Craig delivered to your door with code NLU5. That's code NLU5. No Lang Up is brought to you by Elijah Craig, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, Bardstown, Kentucky, 47% alcohol by volume. Elijah Craig th reminds you to think wisely and drink wisely. And also reminds you to make ice. Uh, tough ice situation over it's here. It's not so the we're, same we're, ice situation. We're drinking it neat. Over drinking here. it neat. We're making it work. Listen, we have Mr. Hogan over here for the open. We have a lot to get to. Uh, I also want to remind you, Cash App is the easiest way to send, spend, and save your money. You can send or request money from friends and family when they owe you money for dinner. You can invest in any stock or buy Bitcoin with just one dollar. I'm really bummed to be missing out on the Bitcoin conference this week uh, in Miami. <laughs> it comes with a debit card you can customize. Cash App laser prints it for you and mails it to you. Comes with free discounts on places you love called Boosts. You can use referral code No Laying Up, which gives you new users fifteen dollars. And Cash App sets aside ten dollars to donate to Youth on Course. Basically, the more people using code No Laying Up when registering, not only are you getting fifteen dollars, but you're helping to support junior golf. I, I lost four bets to Randy today based on mm. oh, where putts going to go in or not go in. So just hit them on Cash App. Okay, very. Good. I, I got a request of you, Solly. Okay. I got some things to get off my chest. Okay, please. Would you please play me in? I gladly, <laughs> gladly will. What are we what are we playing you in for? These are all the gentlemen that lost to Tiger Woods <laughs> and who played his last competitive round, I believe, in October of 2020, and then almost died in a car accident. Why are we leading the uh, why 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 are we doing this? Why we I think they should be ashamed, and I think if they had any respect for themselves, they'd turn in their tour cards <laughs> and withdraw. But you overnight. promised this on the preview pod that you were gonna do this. Of course. You were gonna read the names of everyone that Tiger beat. Of course. Will you please do that for us? Let's go. Paul Casey <laughs> withdrew. Sandy Lyle. Laird Shepard. He's an amateur. We'll let that one go. James Piot. <laughs> also an amateur. Matthew Wolf. Tough. Broke a club. Aaron Jarvis. Amateur. Maybe Thomas not. Peters. Probably broke a club. Stuart Hagestad. Professional amateur. <laughs> BJ Singh. What can you say? Francesco Molinari. And we'll take Eduardo's too. <laughs> Luke List. Sink ships. Cameron Young. I got nothing. Surprise he was in the field. You were doing really good. Swafford. <laughs> Gifted hand. Larry Mize. <laughs> Jose Maria Olathabal. And he birdied the first too. He birdied the first. <laughs> I'm sorry about this one. Justin Rose. Oh, oh, Team Rose. I hate that. Bernhard Longer. All right, there's like 73 of these guys. I think we got to break it up into chunks. Can we okay. come back to the rest we'll later? We'll revisit that. We will come back to that. Um, we got to start with the cat, I assume. Of course we got to start with the what cat. What do you have to say about the cat? Uh, what, what a... What a methodical round of yeah, golf i don't know what we're gonna say that's not gonna sound uh just overly emotional and like cliches but i, I felt every emotion i felt every cliche watching it i mean it was tr like what a mind fuck like watching <laughs> what we just watched it, it's truly like you can throw all the cliches out there if you would have told me literally he would have been at the green jacket ceremony this year i would have been like wow that's inspiring and not only did he show up for the green jacket ceremony he fucking shot under par he beat like, like 70 guys. 73 guys and it, it was i think like the the cliche that's going to be thrown out a lot is like he just knows where to miss on these on this golf course right he can play it in his sleep he knows he knows where all his misses are he knows where he's got to be and what i was thinking like even starting at number one is even when you miss on this golf course, you have to hit so many sh just shots. 
you have to two putt from really hard spots. You have to get up and down from really hard spots. Like, yes, you can, you can still know where to miss, but you still have to, it's still such a grind and he grounded out and he didn't, wasn't perfect by any means. He he had some big misses, but he kept doubles off the scorecard. And that is going to be the, the, uh, the, hopefully the theme of the week, right? If he does, if he keeps doubles off the card, he's going to beat a ton of guys. I am slightly worried. It's not sustainable. Oh, oh, right. <laughs> of okay. Course, of course. Right. But he did not drive it good today, which that's, you know, we're looking, but it, it is a golf course where you can drive it less than perfect. If you, again, like to your point, miss in the right spots. What the ironic part is he had some really bad misses today that didn't lead to bogeys. Yeah. His two bogeys were so preventable, extremely preventable. Eight yeah. was bad. horrible. He was short on everything. And, and looks like Rory esque bogey on eight. Everything that we're like, we're viewing is through a lens of, you know, uh, a pretty tightly auditing his game. Like it is ridiculous that he's even playing in this. Yeah. And so, like, we're what was, was I was, S- still ridiculous? He played the father son. Yes. <laughs> now we're talking about him in the what top ten of the Masters. I was expecting him to look more like this than the reports we were getting in the practice yeah. rounds. Like he looked a little shaky, little hesitant to like put weight on the leg coming oh, yeah. through. Like couldn't really draw it. All extremely reasonable. Like none of it's unreasonable actually. But to, also, there were some shots where I'm like, that's the best iron player in the field. The shot he hit in a six was unbelievable. Was so the good. one he hit in a five was unbelievable. Got like unlucky and just barely caught the slope. Like there were some high highs as well. <laughs> and he just, he shook in a couple putts. Like the one on 16 was, I don't know, man. He I, got I, robbed on five for too. sure. For sure. It's, it, it is so, uh, I'm with you. Like, do I, do I think he's going to go out and play perfect golf and win the golf tournament? Probably not. Of course. Like, I don't think that's a hot take. Uh, but do I think he's going to hang around and beat a ton of guys? Yeah. Do I think he's going to make the cut? Yeah. Do I think he's got a chance to finish in the top 20? Yeah, I do. And it, that's unbelievably ridiculous to say. Speaking of beat, beat, a, top, beat a lot of guys. <laughs> Justin Thomas. Oh. oh, God. A good minor Do we pause there, on right? that one? Your yeah, boy. let's pause there. <laughs> okay, we'll pause we, there. We need to have an adult conversation Bad. about Justin Thomas. You will hear no... No excuse making from me. This is what the, happened. I thought we were going to turn a corner with this one. Um, he's maybe too aware of his major championship struggles at this point. It kind of felt like something that he was uh, aware of and conscious of and going to approve on. And I kind of wonder if it's having the opposite Rory effect of like maybe too aware of how this is not going very well every time I want to play my best golf. It's a bugaboo. It's 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 not good. I mean, it's seventy six. That was not out there today. It's it's really bad. That was not out there. That's the worst round. He was the biggest disappointment of the day. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely, definitely. Um, Anything more you want to add? What do you want to say about the cat? Well, I just thought the cat. Tomorrow's a huge day for the cat. The the cat. I agree with Solly. The cat looked a little bit more brittle than I was expecting, given some of the early week reports. (laughs) He, he, ignoring that, so, the car crash so, so real real quick we're so we're in scotland as we mentioned i don't know if we mentioned why we're in scotland we have a big group trip that we're doing on the back end so we came over for the masters early so we'd be set up to do stuff like this uh rain and i watched a good bit of the i mean we watched golf for like 13 hours today yep. we watched a good bit of that uh at the pub as well uh what was the pub we were at molly malone molly malone's pub line of the night from one of the bartenders <laughs> in there looks up tiger makes his birdie on 16 he's fist pumping everybody's going nuts <laughs> guys so disinterested this bartender in st andrews looks up the tv he's like is that tiger woods <laughs> like, yeah i thought he was dead <laughs> like, no check it out check it out he's he not lives he's he lives he, he, guy totally lived and now he's back playing the masters he's back and executing the rest of the field so so all i'm saying what, what i'm saying from that is well sure it, it's a big day for him tomorrow i agree right but also today was an enormous day that's going to be so much bigger than any of the rest of the week right yes and like today was a a great story i I think not only the the recovery and see how he fares the second day uh will be very interesting to see but i i thought i I thought he was a little bit toeing that line where his game you know things could have started to go a little sideways he got a lot out of that round if he shoots you know 76 tomorrow i i wouldn't be shocked just Seeing the way he sure. kind of looked and moved like, today, literally, if but, he shoots eighty six tomorrow, I wouldn't be shocked. But but <laughs> right? also he could shoot seventy. Like, totally, you know, I he could string this together for four days. Yeah. I, I wouldn't doubt that. So I, I really keen to see how how he fares tomorrow. The good news on Tiger: three of the four strokes gain categories were in the positive. The bad news: <laughs> driver cool. was minus one point three two. He did take a divot with driver on fourteen. Sure. That's not what we're looking. <laughs> that's not what we're that's looking for. Happen. That, and he kind of missed in like. 
he knows he knows he knows, he knows all these spots where to miss he knows he can snap hook and hit 70 yards, yards 70 yards left of, of nine he <laughs> totally knows he's fine. gonna have a window over there <laughs> he knows that uh 18 through that gap in the tree 100 through, through the fork <laughs> temporary the water tree. he knows he can miss there yeah uh but yeah there were some big misses where that actually should have been doubles probably and weren't so it's uh hopefully gosh god hopefully keep those off the card the sustainability model would point out that he was positive 2.07 in strokes game putting. That's yeah, good. I mean, Which he looked good. What you're saying coming in is like, yeah, <laughs> who knows if he can walk? That's a big if, big <laughs> if. But he's probably putting a ton, right? He's probably doing a ton yeah. of lag putting. He's probably doing a ton of short putting because, like, what else is he even doing, right? And little pitch shots. Yeah, and he chipped it great, except for eight. Really, I mean, he chipped fourteen it. was weird too. Yeah, he went low, lofted with with that I shot. I think he tried to hit a four iron. I read it in his press conference. Really? Yeah, he tried to bump it, bump it around. Which was interesting if you listen to the preview, like a real, like a real golfer. Yeah. He's proper. <laughs> you a lot of the, improper golfers. The preview podcast with John Wood, we talked about like why it, it always looks funny to me, at least from the angles we see, why guys don't putt from off the green. And he just talked about how the the rye grass there is thick around the greens, and like you don't want balls to be entering the green at the speed that's required to get it through the fringe. And I watched mm -hmm. Bryson putt from off the green today horribly, mm -hmm. and just viewing it through that lens, it's like, man, these, those shots do make you really uncomfortable, which now I'm flashing back to Phil all those times he would just open the face wide yeah. open and hit these flops that would carry onto the green and hold the green. It's like, ah, gosh, that makes even more sense why he's able to play so well there. But um, yeah, I obviously like incredibly encouraged by that. It was just surreal to watch. Um, it, it, it was kind of like how I pictured Tiger playing the masters at age 56, not 46, yeah, yeah. like ignoring yeah, the accident. Exactly. It was like, okay, he can still figure out his way. There, there's still a way to play that golf course. Like Bernard Longer, I forget. I don't know what he shot today, but he was even through nine. At least I was like, we just read well, his name into the record. Okay. Unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's still uh, with us. But like <laughs> he figured some stuff out about like how to play that course without bombing it. And I uh, watching him on two, like he. Didn't try to muscle one up there. He's like, I'm gonna. He was tacky. He was playing he the tack to the left, oh, tack yeah. to the right. And honestly, it felt like I'm gonna go make 18 pars. Yeah. yeah. And if I wiggle in a putt or two, you know, so be it. That will be great. But can he win the Masters this year? I don't think so. It's is minus one too far back? No, it's not too far back. I I just think it's he like he, he looked like he lacked pop and yeah. over three. You know, we he. He hadn't played a competitive round, let alone four straight. It's just too much to ask. But he hadn't played a competitive round in 500 days. Almost lost his leg and beat like 72 guys. It, yeah, it, it's very like the the number one player in the world is three under right now. And over the last 54 holes, do you like the number one player in the world, or do you like the guy who's like struggling to walk? I have promised myself I won't. <laughs> doubt, I'm not saying it's. I'm I won't doubt him again. I'm just if right. you know. I will not, not doubt. Gam not legal yeah. advice, but if you're gambling, maybe. I will not doubt him again. I will not fall for it. I will doubt the health, but I will never doubt the game again. Uh, would you like to continue for a few more? Please, please. Okay. Lewis Oosthuizen. This is getting into more of a celebration of life period of the of the music here. Bryson DeChambeau. Uh, it looked like he was just really playing with a tennis racket out there today. Siwoo Kim. I thought I kind of thought he was going to play well. Stuart Sink. Mm. I got I got nothing. Lived a great life. Stuart Sunk. <laughs> Brooks <laughs> Kepka. That's disappointing. That we were sitting at the Turn pub. down the music. We oh, need yeah. to talk about Brooks. I thought he was going to make an absolute move today. Him and Rory both making the turn at even. Oh, I think. No, or Brooks no, was two under. under. Yeah, yeah. And then he part 10. He was two yeah. under going into 11 and shoots 41 on the back, I believe. Yeah. Brooks struggled with the putter today. He let a lot of strokes get away on the green. Just disappointing. We, we were both really talking ourselves into Brooks there yeah. for a minute. You know, <laughs> we might be idiots, though. It was a lot of what we said just didn't happen today. Like, what's his excuse? Well, how does he shoot three over? How, how's that possible? Yeah. It's a, it's a, Massive bummer. He, he hasn't played good for no, a long period of time, but then it's like, well, he, does he ever play good leading into majors and still always does it? And I mean, Kinda assuming like, he doesn't go on to win this one, we're coming up on three years of yeah. of not winning one of these things. Yeah, we bummer. did. We we did say he's won four though, which is <laughs> we can confirm that is a lot. That is which a is lot. a lot. That's a lot. It's, That's a lot. It takes remind you got to kind of remind yourself of that every now and again. Yeah, That's so many. That that was a big disappointment. Yeah. He he and JT probably the the two biggest for me. Do you want to flip it over and start talking about the guys at the top of the leaderboard and, and come back to your list? Or we'll meet yeah, meet in okay. the middle. Meet in the middle. Sure, I don't want to let these guys off the hook though. Okay, yeah, don't forget that we surely won't. Don't forget I promise we will, we will. We will not should, let them off. Should we start at the top? Sung J M. Sung J M. I kind. I'm not gonna lie. Kind of forgot that he finished T two in 2020. For sure. For sure. Forgot. And like blitz the opening round there. But I also think that. 
Masters is not like a great predictor for, yeah. I mean, that was a, a totally different tournament, but uh, uh, great up and down on 18. Kind of thought that was going to plug in the bunker and it was not going to go well. But Disappointed. Not, nothing plugs in these bunkers. No. no they're bummer. so easy. It's <laughs> almost like strokes gained if you hit it in the bunker. We were looking at that pin like back right on 18. And, like yeah, everybody almost death. got it up and down. Exactly. Rory got it up and down. We're like, man, if that's not a death spot. like I man, know. Del Torres missing. <laughs> or he got it up and down too. But <laughs> a little truly. Yeah, missing spot. it 40 yards long. That's tough. <laughs> but. Let me ask you this. Does Sung Jay move the needle? Like, would that excite you as a golf fan if you were to win the Masters? No. I think I could talk myself into it, but it would be mostly fake. You know, it's and like that's how I am. And I almost feel I bad like, about that. I like I, watching him. I like when he gets on when he right. gets on a roll. Like I'm trying to think uh it's almost like a um remember D when Duffner was mm -hmm. like at the peak of his powers and watching him just like I bet he's gonna step up and hit this inside three feet. Like that was really fun for for a while, but I don't you know, I don't think about Duffner all that much. Two things. Sustainability model. He was plus 3.35 on the greens today. So he made a lot of putts. Not That's not that sustainable. Also from Christopher Sung. Sung Jay low-key playing for an exemption from mandatory for military sure. service. Right. Killer totally. in more ways than one, question mark. Totally forgot about that. Yeah. What, that, a, what a weird world. Yes. That you got to win a major. Well, now I'm going to feel bad military. not rooting for him. So No, that's listen, that changes the game a little bit. Um, it's interesting. It is. It's round one. Look, I mean... There's, it's going on the Wikipedia page. He's he's the leader <laughs> after round one. We'll see what we remember by the end of the tournament. He's obviously an incredible player, and I'm not saying he won't be there. But uh, um, I, I if, out of the two people I watched today between Cam Smith and Sung Jay, Cam looks like the hunter. Yeah. I would not want to be in Cam's way. No, Cam feels like he's. <laughs> I know the leaderboard says otherwise. But he feels like he's up by about three. <laughs> with his two doubles was like ah, that's, no, that's not that's real. not really that what doesn't really count that's not really what, and he even kind of said that after the round too he's like yeah i mean i i know i made doubles but like those were still really good shots like yeah. that was 18 was playing downwind and it was like if you started it just a hair a hair right of center like it was going to end up in those trees anyways like that wasn't even a bad drive that's just such a hard hole today and then one i don't really know what happened but it, it's just a good he mentioned this in his his press or two but like everybody talks about staying patient one shot at a time and blah 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 but like the idea that Augusta is a place where you know if you double the first, which Solly, I know if you're gonna double a hole, you gotta be the first. Gotta be the you want to be the first exactly. hole. But what a good place where like if you're Cam, you shot all four rounds in the 60s last year, you know you can like kind of like bend this place over yes. a little bit. Like what a fun place to just be like, no, I can make seven birdies coming in. It's all all good. A great question from Sweet Cup and Cake. Should the guys who lose to the cat have to do mandatory military service? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's one. That's interesting. Two. Um, so Harry Higgs was second today with 3.15 strokes gained approach. What do you think Cam Smith was? 5.5. Uh, wow. More than two shots clear. That's how good he hit it, uh, his approach. He <laughs> Which, lost strokes off the tee today. You know what's tough is when he also makes every putt. Yes. Like, that's a good combo for someone who's going to play well. Again, for a golf course where you don't need to be a great driver of the golf ball, Cam Smith is... I I, I think we said this on the podcast. Like, he seemed too obvious leading into it for, like, to be the pick, but... Um, he would be my pick right now for, for putting sure. wagers in. He's he's the dude. He, yeah. How far how far back do you have to go to to find somebody like him that's sort of the obvious pick who has never won a major before? That that's that was the thing getting me with Cam there's, was just that's interesting. There's some kind of interesting ones. I mean, Neiman, Joaquin Scheffler. Yeah. Uh, no, I mean like pre, pre tournament though, like being oh, kind oh, of like yeah. this guy's the favorite. And I mean, Scheffler one. probably, or I guess, I mean, there's a couple that are kind of right in that tier, right? Of Scheffler, Morikawa, Cantlay, Hovland. Yeah. All feel like they're kind of in that same, same bucket a little bit. That is interesting. It is. I, I, I kind of forget that Cam hasn't, hasn't won a major because he just feels like he's, he's feels like he is truly just like step by step gotten better every single year to the player, point where like player championship hq going nuts on that comment <laughs> now nah, damn it i'm setting them up for that got him <laughs> um i think we may need to, to touch back in on some names here in a second but before we do that today's episode is also brought to you by our friends at whoop the personalized digital fitness and health coach and official fitness wearable of the pga and lpga tours you can monitor your recovery sleep training and health with personalized recommendation and coaching feedback with whoop train smarter recover faster sleep better and now feel healthier with whoop and their all new whoop 4.0 the latest most advanced fitness wearable on the market it's smaller smarter and designed with new biometric tracking including skin temperature blood oxygen and more gotta admit this morning was the first time 
that all five of my health, one of my five health things was out of the range. My resting Ooh. heart rate was rising last night. Uh, I hate that. And a few pints. I think we could, I think we could easily tie that back couple, to something. A couple of pints flying across the world. Hoisted some pints. Yeah. It, uh, it is also designed with their new anywhere technology. You can wear it uh, with the Whoop body sensor enhanced technical garments, boxers, shorts, compression tops, bralettes, leggings, and more. Just remove the band from the device, slide it onto the garment of choice, and you're discreetly tracking your daily activity from Whoop. The all-new waterproof device is free when you sign up for a Whoop 4.0 membership. For any members, if you have six months of membership on your account, you can upgrade now, get the 4.0 for free. And right now, Whoop is offering 15% off when you use the code NLU15 at checkout. Go to Whoop.com, W-H-O-O-P.com, enter NLU15 at checkout to save 15%. It's free. It's free. It's pool in the back. Exactly. <laughs> Take it. The keys are here, right here. <laughs> uh, where do we want to go next? Danny Willett? Or you want to? Oh, do you want sorry, to pick sorry, back sorry, up? Sorry. No, of course. We let, me, let me name ten more. Okay, yeah. just ten. Samuel Burns, oh, disappointing. Man. That's a huge bummer. Yeah, I'm gonna miss him. He had such so much promise ahead of him too. Yeah, a lot of potential. Takumi Kanaya. Mm. TC's gonna have to answer for that one. <laughs> Gary Woodland. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Fluffer. <laughs> Cameron Davis. Okay. Okay. This next one's gonna hurt, boys. Tommy Fleetwood. Yeah. It's time you kind of called it on the Englishman, <laughs> although you're gonna have to Danny Willett kind of back you down. <laughs> That's true. Kevin Kisner, not his golf course. Ryan Palmer, not sure how he's in the field. Arnie's grandson. That's how he gets in. How is he in the field? Maybe he finished a high major, maybe FedEx Cup last year. I think Guido Migliazzi. There's a guy <laughs> named Guido <laughs> and Fred Couples. Man, he, he had, had a, a nice great round, round for he got Fred. The, he got the shoulder tap. He had yeah. a great round. <laughs> this guy called it a terrific <laughs> round from Fred. I was like, huh? <laughs> uh, we'll revisit that here. I go. We got still got a ways to go, or are we almost caught up? No, we're the, those those blokes all tied for 60th. Oh my goodness, we got yeah, we, we have a ways to go. Again, all of these guys lost to a, a guy. Oh, so almost... actually, some really fun names coming up. <laughs> Stay tuned. Watch this space. <laughs> Scotty Scheffler wearing the Tiger logo on the back of his shirt today. Unbelievable. How about that? I couldn't help but think of Michael Jordan when he was uh, tweeting at uh, at Keegan Bradley. He's like, ain't nobody wearing Air Keegan's. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure that's my shoes you're wearing. Uh, tight haircut. The uh, the sideburn bandit got his got his uh, hands on, on Scotty Scheffler, unfortunately. But, man, I mean, just pretty much pretty validating round as the number one player in the world, I would say. Extremely. Started kind of slow, too. Looked like he was maybe... Maybe going to be in neutral for a while, and then you you know did what you're supposed to do on the back nine. Just he might be the real buoy. You just can't sink him. He just like he looks like he's just playing okay, and you look up and he's a couple under par, sneaks in another birdie, and gets in the house at three under. I had a take. I, I don't even know if I agree with it earlier today that I, Scheffler being number one in the world kind of feels like if Leash got to number one in the world. You're just like, oh, cool, man. That's great. Like, I can't wait to see, like, who's... I wonder who who'll be next, number one. But, right. like... Oh, he's super good for, like, <laughs> 10 holes at a time. Yeah, but... Like, awesome player. Huh, yeah, but, like, really? Like, he's he's the best, huh? That's, can that's I, wild. Can I, I ask you something, Randy? keeps being that guy. Can yes. I ask you something? Yes, please. You had a quote today. I don't think Scheffler's that good. I did say that in Molly Malone's. And yeah. I want to I I unpack that a little bit. Well, I think it's the eye test. <laughs> He, you said it. He just doesn't look like he's doing anything. He looks like he's slipping every every swing. Uh, I, I don't know. It just doesn't. I mean, credit to him. The scorecard was nice. Fair, fair under. play to him. Fair yeah. play. <laughs> Wins three times. <laughs> Tip of the cap. And shoots 69 to open I'm not, And I'm not saying he's a bad player. I just, <laughs> you know, he's like 20th, 25th best player in the world, I think, is probably his. Definitely top 20, like, I think. That's that's where that's where he is. <laughs> the twenty fifth best player in the world, <laughs> which is listen, that's good. But well, how big's your sample size? Because this is the issue. If if I may, and I don't want to psychoanalyze you in front of you know all these people, dozens of people listening to this podcast. But uh, I think your sample size is is about fifteen years. Oh yeah. Whereas we, I think Sally, you might be living much more in reality. We've, we've been hearing about Scotty since the late nineties. Like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I was gonna say I think you, you're you're much more like. Uh, uh, you know who's a, who's a good example? Like Luke Donald. Like there's a proper player. Luke Donald's a guy who can your really, more career achievement really get you a win. Randy's looking at the long, long, long view here, nah, and it's only been listen. It's been 42 days. For it has been Come 42 on. days. Let's Come pump on. the brakes a little bit. I know what the OWGR says, but Hale Irwin. There's a guy that can win you a US <laughs> right. <open>. Scott Hoke. <laughs> exactly. Scott Hoke could play during Masters <laughs> Week. Come on, man. That's cold. No, listen. I I will say Scheffler. <laughs> 
Scheffler's playing very well right now. He had a great day today. I, there's That's just big. something when I watch him. Wow. Just like this guy doesn't look like that good. He's what, good. What would have to change? I don't, well, maybe think on that. What would have to change? Yeah. What would he, how how could he question. win you over? That's I would say question. making a ton of eight-footers for a two, three-month period is doable. It's not that sustainable for a long period of time. And it feels like every time he's got an eight-footer, it goes in the center of the center of the he, hole. He, he wiggled in. To talk about speed. I think we, that's where we naturally go next. Quite a few early in the round. You know who's not hitting it in the center of the center of the hole right now? Jordan Spliff. Uh, that's, that's such a bummer. It, it's I, kind I, was of, saying not, you, I was saying to you guys, when, like, again, they, they dress him up like a little boy. He looks like <laughs> one of the guys from Blue's Clues. And you're watching him on the range doing his Charles Barkley hitch. And I'm, I'm mm. saying, like, man, he's walking to the first tee. Like, he feels like he's lucky to be even par right now. Even that feels, like, unrealistic that, that Jordan's even going what, to number what, one. What hole did we uh, – like he's getting away with one. What hole did we that, – that fadeaway putt he hit? Four. Four. Straight down. And, Grant, Four. listen, it's straight down the hill. Fastest greens on tour. But that was that was a little bit of the, was the hotailing fadeaway. The most concerning putt I've ever <laughs> seen him hit. He missed it by four inches. Like, it nah. wasn't even remotely close. No, it's not good. I'm not emotionally invested in this go-around. I didn't, you know, I didn't get hyped on it. I didn't, he wasn't my pick to win. Um, so I, I, I can almost kind of laugh when he does some of this stuff now more than it breaks my heart. I was just, I was kind of giggling today. Like it, it's just going to make the Sunday 65, like that much worse. It's going to make it that much like T8, that much more frustrating. Um, didn't drive it good or put it good or even hit it good. Uh, honestly, pretty lucky to be Besides plus that, two. <laughs> He's lucky to be plus two. Um, that, how was the play? <laughs> <laughs> um, we skip past Waco and Dan Willett. Yeah. I mean, Joaquin is again that looks sustainable. Looks I was going to say Joaquin he's, looked good, and yeah. he's playing in a fucking historic round of golf with Tiger Woods. He's Unfazed. playing right next to him, he goes out and mm -hmm. you know almost takes the lead. It was it was awesome. Joaquin, I I always uh, am guilty of of looking at him as like ah he doesn't hit it high enough. Yeah, like, and he just he figures out a way to get it done, man. He's, he doesn't pass the eye test sometimes with yeah. the ball flight and the style of play, but, but he gets gamer. it done. Yeah. He gets it done. I will say, interesting note. And I asked him about this on the podcast, and he denied it. But uh, when he played against Tiger, and the, there was a four-ball match, or I think it was four-ball that he played against Tiger in the in the Presidents Cup, and Tiger's kind of going through his process, kind of taking a little while, and the camera pans over, and Joaquin like does a little <laughs> little motion like this that could have been like "Let's go, team" or something, but it kind of looks like he's telling Tiger to speed up, and Tiger <laughs> also Tiger took that personally. Maybe he took it personal. Uh, but I just I found that interesting that they got paired together. But yeah, it, it cannot be easy dealing with. I mean, the pictures of the crowds, uh, and Tiger's always drawn a huge crowd, but this today felt like a big, big fucking deal. I think we were kind of talking this morning before it kicked off, like, okay, who's, who's, who are the guys that kind of wouldn't move the needle or who are the kind of, you know, I don't, you don't want to say like nothing winners. And I think Joaquin might've even come up. And after watching today's round, I think I, I, I want to flip that in that, like if Joaquin's in it going down the stretch, as long as, you know, Spieth and Rory aren't, aren't up against him. Uh, I think I would, I would love to see. Walking with a major, I think that'd, that'd be, be super, super fun. That would be pretty, pretty fitting. And also, I mentioned this on Twitter, but and it's kind of a you know fluffing Augusta National, but wild uh, investment strategy from wild vertical integration from from the boys at Augusta lately with Hideki Matsuyama, two time Asia Pacific Amateur Champion, is your defending Masters Champion. Joaquin, a Latin America Champion, was your Masters leader today for a while, and Jennifer Cupcho, who won the first Anwa won a major on on the lpga this week as well and it's that's wild wait until the drive chip and putt kids get here. exactly and it's Ooh, it's one coming. of those it's they're one of those coming. chicken and egg things though where it's like i don't know that joaquin like started playing golf because there was a latin america championship but at least they're hosting high quality championships that high quality players are winning and right? i thought it was cool i don't know what tournament you were at but all the um oh, south the american players. fans just going nuts for them. i mentioned that on uh the players podcast where joaquin had like literally dozens dozens of chilean fans and south american fans out in jacksonville i live in jacksonville don't run into a t like mass amounts of of chileans on the regular and i was asking some of the dudes that were out there i was like so what are you, you guys live here or nearby or what and they're like no like, like a lot of these kids are from joaquin's like junior tour and he flew like a bunch of them in uh as like a prize for you know winning their flight or winning their their uh competitions or whatever so yeah joaquin seemed I'm I'm in. Easy I, to root for now. Yeah, I, and I don't know what really is different between him and Sungjae, but something about Joaquin. I, I think I would be would rather have Joaquin than Sungjae. Yeah. 
just because we got a lot of names to get through, I'm going to ask for a few more, and then we got to talk sure, DJ. Sure. So, well, please, we mentioned uh, we mentioned Jordo. Yeah. Jordan Spieth. I'm sorry. Let's move past that. Uh, Xander Shoffley. Oh, he had so much promise. Did not make a birdie today. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> John Rom. That's a hard one. I feel like that's a really that's tough. I feel like we're gonna have to explain that one. Hey, turn the music down. <laughs> <laughs> turn, turn the music off. Wait, let me ask you a There's question. There's no snare in my headphones. <laughs> let me ask you a question. Okay. I'm, I'm here Is for he all this. Is he still the buoy? The buoy might be leaking a little bit. Um, are, are we concerned at, yeah, at now anything we're concerned. right now? With now John we're concerned. Ron. Now we are concerned. Okay. Um, I think he'll probably still finish like top 15 in this tournament. That's why he's the buoy. But <laughs> look, we, we need, we need like, that's the floor for him. He was like almost minus odds to top 10 this week. We needed a lot more than this. The ceiling's the roof. The ceiling is the roof. Yeah. So listen, I, I think your, your, uh, your takes in this regard have been nothing short of um, <laughs> disastrous. You, no, no. You know what? I'm, I am, I am feeling a groundswell on Twitter. Folks, keep tweeting at me. There are people coming out of the woodwork Tears saying you're exactly you. right. Thank he you, doesn't win. He might stink. Thank you for calling. I, I get that a fraud. Multiple messages every day. So <laughs> Hundreds I want to thank. Thousands. I want to thank those people. That's so brave, considering he won one of the last three major championships <laughs> that was played uh, on the men's side. But you know, I, I appreciate your willingness to to stick uh, by this one. Counterpoint: He tied Mike Weir today. That's tough. Tough. So, I heard Mike Weir was hitting like 220 off the tee. <laughs> that, that, that is tough. Now, let's say this. Do you expect Rom like a good 10 years from now to have <laughs> at least two major championships? I do. Okay. I expect would that it. Be, would that be like satisfactory? No. Okay. Now let's talk DJ. Oh, love it. I, I think I've been very consistent on sure. DJ. That's true. My associate, Tron Carter, not so much. Uh, here's what I say. I think the, ma- the 2020 Masters counts as a half major. Love that. But if he wins this one, it fully validates 2020. So Mm -hmm. then he would go from one and a half to three. Is that fair? That's interesting. Let me think on that. Okay. Yeah. And we were discussing, he should have four. Well, maybe you could even convince me that he gets a half for like, if you add up the sum of the parts of whistling straights and pebble and, you know, chambers, chambers, things of that nature, Mm -hmm. you add those up, that might add up to another half. So I think the number is two. Okay. You know, I think you can round up from one and a half to reach two. <laughs> yeah, I think if he wins this week, it will be a legitimate three. It will be three. Yeah, I like. I kind of like. It's kind of like. Uh, I don't know what. It's not tie goes to the runner here, but it's similar kind of theory. Similar, similar, theory. Yeah, similar theory. Okay, and that's good because make no mistake, he needs to win. Like he needs to get to at least three. I, I think two is unsatisfactory. Yeah, it's it's not it's good unbe- enough. It's unbecoming. It's, quite frankly, it's unbecoming. <laughs> Padraig Harrington has three. No disrespect. Exactly. Payne Stewart had three. No disrespect. I mean, he's thirty-seven years old. It, not that he's like getting old, but you know, he's not. He's not in his twenties anymore. He's got to start winning a couple here. Padraig, hasn't Padraig hasn't won since the last Masters. Um, Padraig's were catless, also, but it's true here nor there. Um, were all of them catless? I think 07 was not. 07 no, British oh, was not. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, yeah. But two of the the two oh eight ones were were uh, callous. So well, let's rattle off just a couple more here. Okay, are you ready for more? Just a few more, if if you'll allow. <laughs> Lucas Herbert. Oh, you skipped one. Billy Horschel. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Seamus Power. Hmm. Patrick Reed. P. Adam Scott. A lot of Masters champs going down today. Max Homa. That one's tough. That's tough. I'm God, sorry, Max. Such a nice start too. I know. I'm sorry. Sorry. That, that you knew sucks. the rules, Max. No, he. I, I, you knew I, the rules. You know how much Max likes playing on the PJ Tour too. You know, know. how much it it's seems sting. like he's having a good time. It's yeah. going to sting for him to not play out, not play professional the, golf anymore. So what I want people to picture as we're going through names is the scene from Rudy where everyone lays the jerseys exactly. down. That's what these guys have to do yeah. into Randy's office. No, I would say if you have self-respect, <laughs> yeah, you will withdraw and turn in your tour card. I because it's it's more. it's. I've I've said what it is. Zach Johnson, <laughs> sure. It's Brian done. Harmon, KH Lee, KH Lee, big bounce back. You have to admit that he, he was did. five over at one point. It was got it back to bleak. two. Sepp Straka, it's just happy to be here. Aaron, Austin, Austin, <laughs> Greaser, good showing from Austin today. Yeah, that's impressive. Podrick Harrington, mm. that's some. Podrick's playing some low key nice golf too. Mike Weir, I would let him keep. That's that's yeah. overachieving. I think Champions Tour guys get yeah, yeah. get to get to stick around. JJ Spawn, gone, short lived. Yeah, did not respawn. Cool <laughs> that he won in his last his last attempt though. Really, yeah. You know? Rory McIlroy, 
Pause. Pause. <laughs> Guys, what's going on? I mean, I again, I right with Spieth. I didn't is, get, yeah, this, I didn't get emotionally invested. This um, is a me problem for me. This, I, this I didn't is... sense any. You know, we're over here in Scotland. Not that people necessarily have to be the biggest. But the, Molly Malone's could not have cared less that Rory McIlroy was playing golf. I think we got one comment. One guy looked over at us. And goes, oh, you, Rory made like a <laughs> fifteen footer for par on uh, fourteen, right? And I think and he goes, oh, that's pretty fucking Rory, right? <laughs> like. <laughs> Eight years ago, nine yeah. years ago, I, I, that place is probably hanging on every shot of his. Yeah. Here's what I'll say. He did not. I'm not even mad. This is not a coverage take. He didn't get star, star player treatment. No. He no. got just another guy treatment on yeah. the telecast today. Um, is, is he ever going to win another major? Yes or no? I think he wins another major. I don't, I don't see the Masters happening. I think 2020 was his best chance when it was played out of order <laughs> and didn't have the the eight month build up. He's he's gonna be one of those guys that plays in the part three contest when he's like 65. It's like, man, how did Rory never win a Masters? But I think it's 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 becoming more and more clear to me. Tiger winning five of these, being not a good driver. Rory wins tournaments because he's a great driver, and this course just it is not a prerequisite to be a exquisite driver of the golf ball it is ex you have to be very precise you have to hit your numbers with irons and that is not rory's go-to skill speaking of which would you like to read the next name colin morikawa <laughs> oh man he had a lot that's of disappointing yeah i gotta i gotta say yeah god i'm just i want him i totally unrealistic totally a me problem i just want him i want anybody to lift and separate Right, and please, I would love to see please. him just start wrecking people, and it just doesn't seem like it's going to happen. Which, listen, anybody who knows anything about pro golf is going to be like, "That's unlikely that anybody's going to do that." Bad news but here, I, but I need it. I have to chime in. Our, uh, our coach Corey Lundberg from the Altus Performance Center has said, "Solly, exit from Speed Island is a one-way ticket. No coming back. Ooh, permanent, permanent exit." I love it, Corey. <laughs> I am not exiting. I just didn't get hyped for this one. I. I've ne I will never being, leave him. He's not leaving. He's just being super bitchy at one of the like, city not, council meetings. I'm not <laughs> here. The, no, no, no. The trash has been late every Tuesday. I'm not emotionally invested in this one. For? I'm not emotionally invested in this one. I've written this one off. That was budgeted for. We're totally fine with that. Long term, are we in? A million, million percent. I'll directly look in camera. <laughs> Speed, I will never leave you. I'm just not emotionally invested in this one. No, you denied him three times. I denied him 18 times. <laughs> Go listen to Corey's podcast, by the way. It's very it's good. It's very good. The Altus Performance Podcast. We, it's, it's, you can tell you when it's listen to that instead of this. <laughs> you learn way more. <laughs> you, uh, <laughs> you learn different stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you will not learn all 72 people that, uh, that Tiger Woods beat today. Do you want to keep going? Sure. I got tons yep. more. Mark Leishman. That one's tough. Tough. Tom, Tiger going to get some free money from Tron, though. Tom Hoagie. Mm -hmm. he, I think he's cooled off on Forge. He was the best player in the world for a minute there. Bubba Watson. True proper team. player, though. Russell Henley. Mm. I don't think he's out of it yet. At, not out of the tournament? Yeah. Okay. Big shot, Robert McIntyre. <laughs> Such a bummer, man. I, I had it under par at the turn. Christian Bezadenhut. I can't add much there. Eric Van Royen. Kind of looks like Daniel Day-Lewis these yeah. days. Shane Lowry. Looks like a Monopoly character. A pre-tournament favorite. Yeah, that one hurts. That one stings me. <laughs> I abandoned my boy. Mackenzie Hughes. Hey, great. Shank. Pause on yeah, that one. Awesome Incredible shank. shank today on 15. A almost took out, I, forget, I don't know who his playing partner was, almost took out his uh, playing partner's caddy. It, it went right of the pond, hit someone in the crowd or a tree or something and came back inwards. And he tweeted out, he's like, I know it looked bad on camera. <laughs> <laughs> but it looked worse in person <laughs> somehow. Did a crowd wave and a hat tip after it. So big ups to you, Mackenzie Hughes. That was sick. Um, you want to keep going? We don't have too many left. Okay. Min Woo Lee. Okay. And I will also take Min Ji Lee, his sister's <laughs> LPGA card. Just culpable. <laughs> Aiding and abetting. <laughs> That's exactly right. Victor Hovland. And now, now we're to the even pars. Mm -hmm. These people lost by one. Mm -hmm. so close what it can you pause real quick sure what do we think of hovland's pants I, I gotta say i know they're getting a lot of shit i think i was in if you're gonna be Why? on the stage it was because they're outrageous like if you're gonna be if you're gonna be on that stage like <laughs> what did uh 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 
Stephanie Epstein, who you just had on the trap draw, was talking about baseball. She's like, at least, oh, at least, just it's all made up. At least Nothing matters. It's all just a made up, stupid yeah. game that adults play. If you're going to yeah. be playing a made up game for yeah. all the money, you might as well wear stupid pants. I was, I'm way it. Keep it up, Victor. I mean, the white stripe just felt a little unnecessary. Exactly. The pink spiking, had nothing to do with it. Spike in the football. <laughs> pink is, is doable. <laughs> something you've never seen. Before. It looked like you need to be wearing like pumps with them or something. Yeah. Having said that, the cat should have wore a Foot Joy shirt today <laughs> instead, oh of, instead of the Nike shirt. That, Nike that didn't awful. do like their normal Thursday offensive stuff. I mean, it wasn't know, good, but it, it wasn't like. They seem to have gotten over their floral print. Yeah. Days. Fino was not looking good. Well, no. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. That was like by Nike standards. I think he looked very good. Like Scott Hoke out there. (laughs) Was it cotton? I think he had cotton. Like it. Um, What's what's the opposite of dry joy? (laughs) Wet. The wet joy. (laughs) Wet boy. Let's finish the list here. (laughs) Terrell Hatton. Even par. Watch. Watch the space. Abraham answer. Tough break on the back of twelve. Yeah, it's a nice round for Abe. Yeah. Sergio Garcia. God, never caught him out. I didn't realize he was he played that well. Tiger's gonna take pride in that one. Kita Nakajima, amazing. Low am. I Even think par I, for an amateur. We we're saying I feel like the Netflix guys are probably following him. I think that was a big reason they were allowed to film at Augusta. That so would not surprise me. That would be a cool, cool episode for him shooting even par as an amateur at Augusta. Lee Westwood. Shocking. Color really good round. There. Yeah. Charles Schwartzel. <laughs> Kind of shocked about that too. Where's your E and your S? Shout out to Chris <laughs> Vernon who makes the best Masters update videos every single year. Cameron Champ, good round of golf. Good, that's impressive. He has not. Yeah, you can come back. Well, this is harder to be to mean to the guys yeah. at even par. Lucas Glover, I love that's a good that. round of golf. Yeah, that's that's too bad. I liked watching yeah. him play. It's a it's a bummer. We Hideki Matsuyama, a little injured. Good yeah. round of golf again as a defending champ. He'll, he'll probably be around for the weekend. Taylor Gooch. He's, he's kind of in the lead he's for a little nice. while. I'm not going to get on him for that one. And Garrett Higo. That- Struggled a lot since he won. Yeah. So, again, not a bad round of golf. So, that concludes. That's all the players the Tiger beat. Will one will one of those men withdraw? I think one of them will, I'm sure. I'm I just, sure at least one. I just want to say it. Uh, that YouTube video that I pulled up to play that song, we played seven minutes and 20 seconds just naming people that Tiger beat today. God, that's amazing. Uh, what's going to happen tomorrow? Golf course is going to get dirty. It's hard it's spicy the cat was like licking his lips it seemed like <laughs> with it, how how spicy it's is it gonna to blow oh it's gonna mega blow the wind is forecasted to blow my great weather app has told me that winds are expected to be 20 miles an hour gusts oh, up to 30. To, we need to wait till tron gets here with the paid app <laughs> tron's all over the wind can you imagine if what happened this morning to us with our door window happening like the crow's nest over there <laughs> <laughs> We Mother Nature woke us up this morning by blowing through the the windows here of our uh, Airbnb here in St Andrews. I felt like I was out on the Keep an d- eye on out. deck of the Maybe Titanic. The oh my god! Uh, to those watching live, how's our Wi Fi? By the way, I'm actually it seems to be rolling rolling pretty good, which we were concerned about that. Well, what does the weather do for for the cat? Because in in my mind, going in, it seems like the the harder it gets, the better it would be for him. Just because it adds more variables to everybody else. Is tomorrow the chilly day? Because chili's not good for the cat. I think that's more the weekend. Okay. I think Saturday is the chilly day. I agree. I think if par is a great score, advantage cat. I was just like, he still looks like a top 10 iron player on tour, right? And maybe that's outrageous. And maybe that's just me watching every shot of his and getting excited about it. But he's truly like when he says I'm missing in the right places, he's always on the right side of the hole. He's never like short-sighted. He's never doing any of that horrible stuff. And that's where like you talked about with John Wood and like you talked about earlier tonight, like the, the challenge at Augusta is going to be hitting to those tiny shelves and more importantly, like not missing just right of those tiny shelves or just left of those tiny shelves. And it, it seems like with the driver, I mean, he's going to drive it bad in good weather or bad weather. Yeah. Right. And, and the iron play is going to be what separates. So his touch looks good too. Yeah. I mean like this, the, the shot he hit into seven after being out of position, the little open the face up, use the bounce, of course. uh, hit it right back there. That, those are the shots that like when you haven't been in competition for a long period of time are kind of like a question mark, I would say. I mean, look, did he have a horrible bogey on eight? That still just made no sense. And I feel like he definitely should have gotten up and down on 14, but he made some saves that, you know, he save on one. That was huge. Yeah. Um, and gosh, I, he almost gained a huge, about a shot and a half on the field, probably by birdieing. Uh, number five that was when it was kind of like okay we got the cat might be doing some stuff here six iron from like 218 or something like that um so did we talk enough about bryson uh 
I didn't. I mean, the I'm, expectations I'm were. Later. were okay. super high. I feel bad <laughs> for the away. Feel bad for the dudes. I know. Uh, that's tough for them. Mm-hmm. Uh, Should we play? How far back is too far back? Yeah, we <laughs> we were doing we've some been preliminary. Playing all, yeah, we've been playing it all night. <laughs> I mean, who wants to start? Uh, the leader, solo leader at five under. I think that. I think with tough weather, I think two overs still in it. Yeah, three overs too far back. It's a good point with the weather. I think it's gonna it's gonna lift and separate. The good players are gonna shine tomorrow. I, I see. God, tomorrow's gonna be so. Sick. Who do you see bucking though in that in, in that cohort? I mean, look, honestly, I think the weather's gonna be great for Cam tomorrow. I do too. Cam, I see like Shane Lowry could make a move out of out of that. I was. I know I was very high on Russell Henley coming in. He doubled the first and kind of got behind the eight ball. I think he's a guy that is going to move up. And it might be a slow move up, but I think he's going to be he's going to be there uh, on Sunday. I don't. There's no Fitzpatrick, one. Patrick Fitzpatrick is like he's the guy that we always say it after the fact. Like I feel like we never check the weather forecast and put two and two together. Like yeah. oh, it's going to get shitty. Fitzpatrick's going to play well. He's right there. Uh, I could see him having a nice round. I, do we want to talk about the? You know, can I take all that back? I forgot about the cack handed chipping yeah that was that's, news to you that's <laughs> that's that's, that's not that good. was alarming yeah <laughs> he busted that the first time we saw that was match play um and i i just i can't comment on it it makes me too uncomfortable like you're supposed to have like a good short you don't hit it far you're supposed to have a good short game you can't be chipping cack handed uh r- totally random but as i'm looking at the leaderboard two shout outs one big tone i tried to warn you i said he 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 hit the bottom <laughs> uh at the match play and he started he was on the come up he played nice today uh, One under, you must acknowledge. You did not read off his name. He, no, he I still play pro That's golf. a shock. And which I think is good for the cat. That's one of the few players left for him to beat on, <laughs> on tour, right? Yeah. Uh, and also Webb Simpson, who's been completely in the wilderness, right? Injuries and just kind of been such a proper player. I know. I, I always get pumped to see Webb. Is he a mutter? Can, I think can, so. He can, has to can be. he start? Can he start grinding if the weather gets a little dicey? Now, I'll say also Harold Varner too. I mean, I know he he had the eagle on thirteen, but. Was three over through twelve. Got it back to one on there. That's it's worth shouting out. Watson, tell me how my ass tastes. Yeah, how about Watson. That? IBM Watson predicted an eighty-one for Harold Varner <laughs> really? for no reason. Yeah. They predicted like seventy-five for Stuart Hagestad and eighty-one for Harold Varner. He took that very personally. Yeah, that was tough. Hmm. There's no one at plus three that scares me. Kepka is the only name there that you know could do. Like Sam Burns is sitting there at plus three, but. Um, I think I think plus three is too far back. I do too. Um, didn't didn't Watson predict like a seventy five from Rom? He shot seventy four. It predicted seventy for Rom. Oh, okay. They like predicted seventy four for Rory, and he That's shot seventy three. That's right. Yeah, taste it. <laughs> Watson knows a thing or two, but um, yeah. All right, I, I agree. We should talk Will Zalatoris too. He's yeah. he's he's lurking there at one under par. At, First five rounds in the Masters, all under par. God, that's um, mind blowing. He had it to three under, then he bogeyed fourteen, and then also bogeyed eighteen. I think he, good bogey on eighteen. Yeah, I'm. I think he played a little better than it um, than it maybe shows that he did. I will say, I feel really good about him on the three footers now. Like he's got the the infinity loop stroke. <laughs> He's got he, the cowas. He's the cow stroke. He's added patience to it. It's almost like the Stu Sink. You know, Stu, how Stu Sink does like the little pump fakes. I feel like he takes his time with the stroke now to get like almost like the Neil fluid motion putting thing he's got going right now. And then he intentionally hits him off the toe. Like he is hitting three hitting foot the, putts, hook putts off the toe. But like he does an infinity loop and almost like kind of open pushes him with the toe and he's been making them. I'm with you. That sounds, that I mean, sounds it's pretty a, sustainable. It's going to be <laughs> incredible to watch as he gets into, into contention. He, but He makes so many lo- yeah. medium range putts. He gets in that 20 foot honey hole. Go look at the putt on three, the birdie putt on number three, and then the putt that he made on number 12. They, he hits both of them off the dead toe of the putter. It's insane. But it looks almost intentional. I need somebody to explain that to him. So I, to me. I got a question. I got a question. Listening. It, are, go ahead, Randy. Are, are the Masters greens, are Augusta's greens, really that difficult to putt? I'm I'm gonna say yes. I think the answer is yes. <laughs> but I think what you're getting at maybe I is don't, like, are I, they so difficult that maybe bad putters can win are they so difficult that it's difficult for everybody or are they so overhyped as difficult and they're not really that difficult here's what i'll say having never hit a putt on either the pga there, there are some very shaky masters winners bubba hideki i mean those, sal torres has played well all those guys just hit it so good though. mickelson so i think so hit or miss i feel like they're too like i feel like they're still two putting a lot but they're two putting from like the right spots right 
Whereas like if you're if you're not hitting it good and you're spinning down slopes, or you're missing on the wrong side or whatever, you have a stressful day. Whereas those guys, if they're if they're hitting to the right spots because they're in better control of their irons, it seems like even though they're not making everything, they're they still have their three footers are much less scary. I, right? I have a theory. Working theory. I have a theory that on on perfect greens that are super quick, the guys who naturally putt tentatively and defensively, it almost helps them. Whereas that. guys that are like. I'm banging this in the hole every week. Like yeah. I, I, I don't know. That's totally. But there's something about these. Like I'm like, are they, are they, are they really that hard to putt? So here's what I'll say. Uh, something Zach Blair said, I think, on this pod many years ago was when he got out on the PGA Tour, he was surprised how many, like from eight feet and in, how infrequently he had to start the ball outside the hole. Like the PGA Tour might put pins like near the edges of greens, but it's rarely on a very sloped spot in the green. That is not the issue with the Masters. The, the pins are often on weird. Like you'll see so many say, four footers. To a lot of the camera crews, yeah. there was a lot of low low camera shots where you could see how far outside the hole they had to go. So a, you have to get like if you are if you have anything inside eight feet that is not that dependent on speed, you can kind of decide what speed you want to make it at, how much break you want to play, etc. Some of these putts, like the the, the speed putt on four, it was like, dude, you you can only hit this one speed, and you got to hit the exact spot. You yeah. like, you got to hit it out here outside the hole and have the visualization to do it. And if you make any error here you're toast and that i think is what makes augusta different and you can get in a zone and if you're hitting your spots there it looks it looks pretty easy but i think it's honestly a reflection too of like where you're leaving it on some of these greens to have the putts that are makeable yeah all right that's my that'd be my theory on it so okay who, who could say who if leaves? you look at data golf like it, it emphasizes like the putting skill e like equal to every pga tour course so it's like it, it uh, like it emphasizes driving distance a little bit. It really de-emphasizes driving accuracy, and it, it increases the emphasis on approach play compared to an average PGA Tour course. Oh, well, it's interesting. You know, what we skipped over just worth mentioning Corey Connors. Yes, he was a guy that has played well here in the past. He's playing pretty decent coming in. Just want to acknowledge that I th I'm a, I'm been converted to a, a believer. He seems like like. It's weird to say. Does not seem like it matches his game, but seems like kind of a, a hunter, like a proper golfer. I mean, he seems it's to proper. show up. Seems to show up at majors, man. I don't know. It's, it's great golf swing. Yeah, it's uh, it's fun to watch. I hope he sticks around. Matt Wolf, not good. Not good. Tried to putt out of a bunker uh, today. That didn't go well. Broke I might a club. Try, I might try that this week. Well. Broke a club. That didn't go well. Um, I will say, give a shout out to uh, uh, Shane Bacon today, doing the commentary oh, on Tiger that? Woods's round on Masters.com. That was a thrill. I told him this, but it's like I I, I forget that's one of our friends doing commentary because he's yeah. so good at it. Um, and that was that was a thrill to Do, listen. Are to. people going to be mad if we don't talk about Danny Willett? I think so. We should talk. No, it's, I'm, it's unbelievable. All the English on. people are in bed. It's two a.m. That's true. That's true. We can just skip past. Okay. okay. Let's what do it. you What do you want to say? <laughs> no, well, nothing. I was. I, he throwing it out there for the group. He was plus four. He surprises, very surprised. He's up there plus four point one in strokes gained putting today. It's unsustainable. He was number one in the field on strokes gained putting. If he if he made this last, I'd be I'll gladly eat my hat on that one. But I'm that I'm not concerned. And then when the only other kind of like big big name would be Cantlay. Yeah, who kind of hit the you know did what you're supposed to do again. Kind of got it on the back first round end. seventy. Like yeah. that's exactly where you want to be. Yeah. I will say, you know, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I feel like I'm a Cantlay defender, and you're, you're not as much of a Cantlay guy. He doesn't quite do it for me. Working in your case today, I kind of forgot about Cantlay until you're like on fifth. I was like, oh, I forgot about Patrick Cantlay. <laughs> yeah, we should probably watch him play. Which golf. is a bummer because I love when he gets asked interesting questions. He's, I think he's a very thoughtful, smart guy, but doesn't do anything for me. Somebody we definitely left out, uh, Harry Higgs. <laughs> How about that? Harry had How about a day. looking up and seeing. I, I mentioned this to you guys, but uh, what a world looking up and being like man do you think tiger woods can chase down harry higgs at the masters <laughs> like that's god that's the world i want to live in if you're harry how would like would you be going out trying to shoot the best round tomorrow or are you trying to tie tiger to get in his saturday game? <laughs> like, what is that going to really good question what is that really, going to really do for your question. pip possibility harry's got to be i mean he practices at trinity forest right like he he's got to be licking his chops at the wind tomorrow right bring it on I know he doesn't have much course knowledge there. I know he doesn't have a ton of experience there, and Augusta can eject you pretty hard. But listen, if it's going to eject everybody, then then uh, hopefully he hangs on. Cody, what hey, do you guys? Alex, Alex has been in the chat for like the last thirty <laughs> minutes, just begging for this moment to come. I feel like we need to get him on one of these live shows. But 
the man says that Harry's feeling it, so they're they're preparing for a, a solid you know Friday. I, not you worried about the Kandidis. You know what and, I love seeing you know, from from Harry and Al can either confirm or disconfirm this. Uh, he, he was walking so slow out there. You you always hear like the the cliche of just like slow down, yeah. slow down. And Harry's Harry's picking the ball up out of the hole, and just loping around. I know he's he's never in a big hurry to go anywhere, but. Uh, I was I was a big fan of seeing that. Keep that up. It, it appears that he's afraid of the uh, death panel from Alex himself. We need to keep our cards, so we have to beat the cat tomorrow, apparently. There you go. There you go. You know what, Al? You should be thrilled that we've not mentioned Harry's name till this part because we named off everyone that has to turn in their tour card. Kudos to Harry. He's a fighter. That's right. Had a little pride. I, I want to say on the sustainability scale, Harry hit the shit out of it today. He was... 4.08 in strokes gained T to green. He actually lost strokes on the green today and shot one under par. He was overall sixth in the field in strokes gained T to green. Which is awesome because I think that's like, obviously we're exceedingly biased. Love Harry. Dying for him to play well. And I, I feel like we've been just waiting for it for like a year, right? He's just one of those guys. It's like, God, that's that guy's such a ball hitter, man. Where, where Where's he been? When is it going to click? And hopefully it is. Hopefully we're at the start of something big. Well, and it's also awesome hearing him detail the story of getting into the masters at the at the pga knowing what's at stake and very begrudgingly give and giving alex credit at the end <laughs> for the proper read on the putt that sent him to the masters so i do hope you guys are enjoying the walk because it does look really really fun so uh anything else that we missed cody anything we missed what are people mad about well, I, I want to apologize to everybody first. So we changed up some settings so we didn't have the great bot attack of 2022 happening again. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, in doing so, I disabled the live chat feature for about the first five minutes, but we got it dial dialed back in. So I apologize to everybody who's out there. Thank you for tuning in. I think people Cody, wanted to you, go... Will you turn in your tour card? <laughs> for that. sure. What's up with all these you people take still everything. asking about JT? We... we, we, we covered this one we gave it that the proper attention that was top billing at the top of the show you'll have to go back and listen to that one on the podcast feed. people came for blood they want jt they want paul casey talk they want maddie wolf oh, talk. We didn't talk paul casey what is there i mean he's hurt right he's what is there to talk about i mean he was how how much you know i will talk about this how much did paul casey not playing help cam smith today i think that I would have be, actually helped him had slow down. at yeah. least two or three shots that could have been um i will say <laughs> It's just it, he did not get 40k for withdrawing from this tournament. I will say, but also incredible that he tried to tee it up at the match play, withdrew at the last second on the Thursday, finally withdrew on Friday, and still can't play uh, two weeks after that. It's kind of like a was that a money grab at yeah. the match play? It's really hard to argue otherwise right now. Also, for criticizing him two weeks ago, I I have horrible back spasms for the last That's last true. week. So maybe you should turn in pains. your card. Cats out there shooting one under. I, so I was like, oh god, I can't pick up my tee. I can't pick up the ball. Out he's of the hole. begging me to pick, pick the ball out of the hole for him. <laughs> Wednesday, so that is not true. Randy. You he gotta get plungers. it out of the hole for that him. That is false. So I was put it to play one of those. Did you want to shout out your I plunger want sponsor? I wanted. I said plunger. I wanted one. I don't have one yet. I want one. I will gladly use one. And Randy, you did not pick my ball out of the hole because I never made it in the hole. <laughs> That's true. We, <laughs> I think we hit like one hole combined. You know, uh, Big and I have been big on the on the ice baths, and I'm happy to hear that Tiger's yes. getting ready to dive in tonight. So, probably gonna freeze myself tonight. <laughs> oh, it's so, so cold. cold. It's just really cold. It's really cold. Oh, it's cold. It's gotta recover. <laughs> um, Gary Player repping the Gulf Saudi uh, on the neck today. Oh, also yeah. came to Phil's defense we, today. Which reminds me, we didn't talk about Kokrak shooting two under. So. <laughs> That's right. A lot of kids, a lot of boys and girls in Riyadh probably, probably <laughs> stayed up late to watch that, which is cool. Uh, I think that's going to just about do it uh, for our Thursday night recap. We will be back uh, every night for the remainder of this week. Who's, um, who leads tomorrow? Cam Smith. We got to go hit up the local shops here and place say a wager. DJ. I'm going to say DJ too. Hmm. I think he's playing in the morning. Cam's going out in the afternoon. Got to think it's going to be windy, windy. I still think Cam is probably going to win, but I'm, I'm picking DJ at the end of round two. It's either, it's either Cam or Rory. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for tuning in to the live show. We'll see you back here uh, every night the rest of the week. Cheers.